Hello, my name is Ben and I'm happy and I'm back with another reaction. Today it's Lucy Dacus. I hope that's how you pronounce Dacus. <laughs> she is the final trilogy of Boy Genius. I've reacted to Phoebe, to Julian, and now it's time for Lucy. I'm so excited for Lucy as she was one of my favorite voices in the Boy Genius EP. You know me, let's get straight into it. Let's get straight into it. Good English. I'm gonna go in with Historian. That's the album I've been recommended to listen to the most. I'm excited. 10 songs. We all know that a condensed album is generally a banger. The first song is called Night Shift. It's explicit. It's got a star. So this is going to be a groundbreaking opening. I can just feel it in my gut. So let's go. Heavy bass. All right, let's go. I'm excited. It's somebody else's bit. I had a coughing fit. Okay. They can be called them by your name. Oh. I can't help but think of your other in the bed. That was mine. Damn. Resisting urges to punch you in the teeth. Call you a bitch and leave. <laughs> I feel no need to forgive, but I might as well. Six and a half minutes. That is epic for an opening track on an album. Whoa, didn't that showcase so many different... What a slow, burning, build-up song. That ending was sick, and I love it. It was just repeated three times in the end. Each verse got progressively grungier and rockier. Love, love, love. Really cool. Really interesting introduction to her, I guess, as a solo artist. I don't know if this is her first or second album. Regardless, opening track on an album, a really cool way to start it. I guess you're excited for what's to come because there was a lot of different elements in that song. Let's get straight into a Addictions. She wrote that song, by the way, of course. The trio, they write everything themselves. Let's get straight into Addictions. Freeze frame, tied away in the passenger side. Interesting sound. Uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I guess, gauge what kind of, it's very, ugh, what kind of sound is it? I don't know. Tell me what kind of sound this is. It's interesting. It's cool. It's quite like alternative, I suppose, is probably the easiest way to describe the sound. I like how she is quite a storyteller and it's very clear to follow what she's talking about. That kind of just reminded me of a good that a guy that like buys like shares in cryptocurrency, which is quite funny. I guess the metaphor in him investing in their relationship and he's not a quitter, so he's not gonna. It's just kind of maybe they're addicted to each other and everything's just quite routine and quite repetitive. That's just like, I guess, the gist of it. I really like, I'm excited for it, I guess, get a bit more, I think like a bit more production wise. It's cool. I'm enjoying like, yeah. Yeah, it's it's a it's a really interesting album and I really like seeing this side of her you know because it's definitely her voice really matches this kind of you know music <laughs> does that make any sense no I just sound like a dick the next song is called the shell this is cool is that real life sound they're just so good at it
shady at any depressing artist, but you don't have to make it sad. So you don't have to be sad to make something worth listening. I also love, um, you're just rudely interrupting. That is just hilarious. She's actually quite a funny, I don't know if it's meant to be funny. I'm finding the way she speaks and says things quite funny, which I'm enjoying. <laughs> sure what the hell that song was about to be honest i love when she was like i'm a ghost and it was just like that hell like mm, like organ grungy like walking horror kind of movie sounding i love the line where she's like if i could have a different shell i'd put if i could have my shell i'd put a different person into it really cool that line was sick i don't know what the hell that song was about that ending was weird to me i'm like what cool though that's the probably the coolest production sounding wise she is quite interesting to me i'm intrigued to kind of keep going through and get to know i guess more about the stuff she's talking about. The next song is called Non-Believer. I'm guessing this is about religious beliefs coming in, which is, you know, quite prevalent to the three of them. Let's go. You threw your books into the river. Again, like real cool story line telling. Yeah, he's a non-believer. When you get big, send me a postcard. Yeah, I get I get a gist of what the thing's about, and then I get gonna get lost. I'm like, oh, I don't know what we're actually talking about here. <laughs> I don't know if I'm just dumb or just I don't know, everything's kinda going over my head today. In terms of like I guess mainstream listing, you've definitely got Phoebe. Oh, and maybe I actually think maybe Lucy's the more alternative one out of them all. It definitely feels the less mainstream so it's quite an uh, acquired taste so i'm definitely trying to get into the groove it's it, it's really just interesting to me and i know i say that a lot it's just i don't know it's intriguing it's probably a better word the next song has a star it's number five and it's called yours and mine this sounds like quintessential her vibe long song five minutes so many different tempos in that i loved how it kind of just it's such a all i could division was like around a campfire singing with your friends like this ain't my home like i don't know singing having someone echo back really cool yeah it's just like i said the, she's quite experimental in the way the songs just go whatever direction she wants them to go which is a really cool i like that about her She's, I don't know, it's just, she seems like the cool, quirky one, and her music definitely reflects that for me. The next song is called Body to Flame. It's number six. Is it gonna, is it gonna be the banger? I don't know if we're gonna get banger bangers <laughs> in the terms of what I expect of a banger, but I'm excited for number six. Oh, we might get a banger.
6, Never Let's Me Down. Love that tempo change halfway through. The lyrics she writes are insane because she just fits so many words into the songs. I don't know if I follow the way she sings. I don't know, well, I couldn't actually tell you what a single one of these songs is about. As a whole, there's definitely elements that I, you know, understand. I don't know what that song is about. <laughs> I'm gonna need a lot of help on this one. What these songs actually mean, and I guess, yeah, I just, I'm gonna need some help. This style of music is very new to me, so I'm trying to vibe with it and listen, and yeah, it's it's awesome though. I mean, that's just, this is why I wanted to do this, is to be introduced to new music and just, yeah, hear as much as I can. The next song is called Time Fighter. Let's go. sounds like like such a lead up to two like a couple in a movie they've got like this chemistry and then they just finally kiss and then they have insane sex like this is just that song it's just so dirty and sexy just picture it now this couple who have the chemistry like the sexual frustrations there and then they just boom like Sexy freaking song again. <laughs> what was it about? I don't know. She lost time. All I could imagine was just yeah, a really sexy moment in a movie where this is just the sex scene song. Amazing production. The, their production. If she produced this album like Julian did, then I'm gonna just be like, what the hell? The way they produce is epic. No wonder when they come together, the forces are just so strong. I don't know what to say. She's a very impressive woman. The next song is called Next of Kin. <laughs> cool it's actually just very i don't know like seven sixty seven years do 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 and then it just ends with that kind of heavy guitar what i think she's so awesome in manipulating her voice and the sound to just change so easily throughout the song i don't know if i've really connected lyrically to a single song like nothing's really i guess moved me or like really hit my inner inner emo however it's it's just you really pay attention to the way she uses her voice and, and the production is what i can take away from the album for sure the next song is called Pillar of Truth. Oh my god, this song is seven minutes long. She is actually a psychopath. Oh my god. I feel like I need to really get comfortable for this one. Looking at you, a pillar of truth, turn into dust. My guitar sounds so good. Nobody knew to you. 
What a song, seven freaking minutes, oh my god, that scream out absolutely got me, got me good. <sighs> like, I don't know, I'm just like, uh, um, yeah, it's a, it's, it's, pr it's another full-on album, right, to really, I guess, take in. Oh, alright, <laughs> I'm actually kind of speechless, which I think, I'm just, I'm, I'm actually just in awe, I guess, how she can do what she's doing. It's, it's pretty insane, it's pretty awesome. We're at the last song, the title track, Historians. What was this gonna be, the... The emotive ending. Oh. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Showcases her voice, the music. Oh my god, amazing, amazing, amazing. What an album. Just Julian, I mean, god, just like Phoebe to an extent, there's just so much to take in at once. I need to listen to this a few more times. Give me all the info down below, you know the drill with me. Help if I don't get it straight away. Oh, I'm excited, she's releasing a new album this year. I'm really excited to see where she is from this album. If she's anything like the other two girls, they just progressively get better with each album. The production on this one though was just stellar. An amazing woman, lyrics are just top notch, again, so much to absorb and they're just so much deeper than traditional lyrics. For me, the album just was an experience and it just, like I said, the way she manipulated her voice and the instruments on the songs was just my favorite part. Let me know what you think down below. Is she one of your fave artists? Tell me more about her. Let me know what I should react to next. You guys are, you know, giving me the, the good stuff, which is awesome. I'm so thankful. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. I'm going to have a great day wherever I am. Benny is going to get.